It's Black Music Month, and the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame has planned a weekend of events that pay tribute to our rich musical history. Among the highlights of the celebration is the renaming of Parkside Street in Detroit to David Ruffin Avenue. The Temptations lead singer lived on Parkside from 1970 until 1983. Also, the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame will welcome its 2019 class of inductees during a black tie ceremony at the Charles H. Wright Museum. This is the eighth annual induction ceremony. Here to tell us more is R&B Hall of Fame founder, Lamont Robinson, along with David Ruffin's daughter and Hall of Fame president, Cheryl Ruffin Robinson, and the host of the weekend events radio personality, David Washington. Welcome all of you to American Black Journal. Thank, Thank you for having us. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a big deal, the eighth annual the eighth induction. Annual. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, fifth year in Detroit, uh -huh. eighth overall, and we're looking forward to it every year. Uh, we get people from all over the country coming here to Detroit. You know, Detroit is such a musical hub. Yes. Uh, with Motown and everything. And uh, we look forward to this, and we look forward to enshrining uh, the new class of two 19 inductees. Yeah, so tell us who some of the <coughs> inductees are going to be. Well, we are re-inducting Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul. She was inducted in 215 uh, as a singer. This year she's going in as a songwriter. Eddie Kendricks, the legendary tenor for the Temps. Mm -hmm. And also Stevie Wonder is being inducted. Uh, Phil Perry. Don Davis, who was the great producer. Uh, we have Stephanie Mills, uh, H Town guy. So we have a host. Yeah, of great that's people. a real range right there. Right, of, exactly, uh, of, exactly. Of wonderful artists. Yes. Uh, we, we had you on uh, a few years ago, I feel like, to last talk year? about last. Was it last, last year? year? Talk last about year. the the hall. How's, how is that all going? Oh, the hall process is going good. Yeah. Uh, we're talking with some corporate people about brick and mortar. You know, <laughs> it's like uh, building the actual hall. Building right? the actual hall of fame. <laughs> uh, would be one of three. You know, you have the um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame down the street here in Cleveland, mm -hmm. Main Boy in Cleveland. Uh -huh. And then you have the Country Music Hall of Fame and now the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame. So we're in talks now. Uh, we have, we're down to like three locations. So it's looking very promising. Yeah, that'll yes. be an exciting day. Oh, we'll yes. break ground on that here in there the city of go. Detroit. We will. We will. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about renaming <clears throat> Parkside Street, uh, which is a street that runs through more, the neighborhood where I live as well right. uh, in Detroit as David Ruffin Avenue. That's a big deal. Oh, a big deal. <laughs> well, myself, my family, um, I want to thank, first of all, the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame, the city of Detroit, and me and my family, yeah. we're just so honored <laughs> and so elated. We can't wait. Yeah. So I mean, excited. I feel like your dad is one of the most recognizable figures, not just in Detroit history, but in music history. Yeah. I mean, there's almost nobody who doesn't uh, recognize that name or, of course, recognize that voice when you when you would hear it. Um, right. uh, but talk about living on, on, on Parkside. That's uh, in uh, University District uh, yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, we well, had yeah, good times, uh -huh. good Birthdays, Christmases, uh, friends on the street. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just remember a lot of good times and yeah. good days. Yeah. Um, uh, when you think about uh, your dad, uh, talk about how important the city of Detroit and being in the city of Detroit was to him. Uh, he loved Detroit. He was a homebody. Um, well, the last three years he was working on Ruff and Kendrick's Edwards, uh -huh. and he was in Philadelphia where he passed. But um, Detroit was always his home. He yeah. lived here mo majority of his life. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the weekend uh, of events. You are the host. Yes, I'm one of the co-hosts, yeah. along with uh, Mary <laughs> Wilson and uh, Spider Turner, uh -huh. and um, we have Lynn Bailey, and we also have Miss um, Donna Wheelwright is going to be uh, co-hosting the first half of the induction ceremony. Okay. And before we get started, I'd like to thank our sponsors, especially our um, our yearly sponsors. We have Mac Leasing, mm -hmm. uh, First Independence Bank, and we also like to say thanks to Quicken Loans and Burt's Entertainment Complex, and our annual uh, supporter is uh, Cadillac of Novi. Yeah. I'd like to thank them um, dearly. Yeah. And i uh, also like to thank all the fans and uh, the public that have supported us over the last eight years. And this year we have a nice class going in for 219. Uh, Aretha Franklin yeah. uh, as a songwriter, Stevie Wonder as a performer, of course. We have H-Town, we have Guy coming in, uh, Stephanie Mills, we have Ray Parker Jr., uh -huh. who's a Detroiter <laughs> a from writer, heart. Right. Uh, the great Phil Perry, uh, the legendary, the legendary 
Don Davis, producer, songwriter, and owner of uh, First Independence Bank. Right. Uh, we have uh, another f great guy, David Washington, being inducted. <laughs> uh, so 47 years uh, right. put into the industry. That's right. That's right. Um, Keith Washington uh -huh. is being inducted. Uh, producer <clears throat> Henry Cosby from Motown Records. The legendary Bumps Blackwell, who's responsible for bringing Sam Cooke to the secular yeah. world. Yeah. And also the real pioneer, true pioneer, Mr. Lloyd Price is being inducted uh, twice this year, as one is right. the Lifetime Achievement Award, receiving the Jackie Wilson um, prestigious award, yeah. prestigious award, and also as a um, singer-songwriter, he's being awarded uh, for that. We have Jimmy Roach, producer for Motown Records, uh, The Times, <laughs> then we also have the Band of Gypsies, mm -hmm. and we have the Rude Boys, who was produced by Gerald Levert out of Cleveland, Ohio, and we just added we just added uh, the Mary Jane Girls. That's right, that's right. Uh, from Motown Records. Very good. And going to be inducted. Uh, we're going to have just a great inductee, uh, inductee right. this year. Yeah. Uh, inducted people. And we're so proud that everybody has been invited. Uh, we're going to have some performances by some of the artists. So yeah. it's going to be um, just a great, great we'll year. Talk about what goes on at the ceremony. Well, we do the, the, we do the induction ceremonies. And then we um, induct the artists. And then they perform. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about the history of that artist. We talk about um, what they're doing today and uh, where they're going to go tomorrow. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's more like a history lesson also. Yeah. That's really a lot cool. of people um, have never had a t chance to see some of these people uh, live. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's right. right. Uh, that's right. Sometimes it's the first time they ever saw them live. So it's quite uh, personal. And, and the red uh, carpet. We have, yeah, know, we have the red carpet. And you have a red carpet. Red yeah, carpet exactly. at 4 o'clock. Yeah, we're going to start Sunday. Well, let's kind of backtrack a little bit. Uh, we're going to do the state of the Black Music Conference. Which is which important. Be, yeah, very important. We're going to talk about yes. where music is, where it's going. That's going to be um, Friday morning at Burt's at 10.30 mm -hmm. to 12, free to the public. Then we're going to go back and then rush down to Parkside at 2 o'clock. The next day we have... The celebration at 6. Yeah. And the next day we have uh, the all-white party, which is a VIP party where we bring in the inductees. It's going to be at Burt's. It starts at 8 o'clock. And then uh, that Sunday at 4 o'clock, the red carpet. But, you know, kind of backtrack at 6 o'clock after the 2 o'clock ceremony with David Ruffin. Uh, we're going to come back to Burt's yeah. at 6, which is free to the public. And we're going to play us music and then just joy. Uh, David, David Ruffin and his life and his family is going to be there. Sure. We got people coming from all over the country and uh, if you want to get tickets, uh, you can go to Burt's and uh, buy your tickets for all the events and you can go to rbhalloffame.com and purchase them online. But uh, we're looking for the support. Like I said, it's our fifth year here. Uh, this is probably the musical city. Yeah. Uh, well, one of the biggest musical cities in the world, it is. especially mm -hmm. for R&B music. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and and before we run out of uh, time for the segment, I wanted to get you to talk just a little about the importance of preserving that music now. It's different than it was when David Ruffin right. was, right. Uh, was, was still with us and still performing, but it's still, it's just as important. It's just a big a part of the city. Well, just kind of capture that rhythm and blues music is the foundation to all for music. For everything, right. If you look at, if you go to different genres of music, they'll revert back to the gospel, jazz, R&B music, and it's, it's a shame that a Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame has, hasn't already been right. re-erected, but God blessed me to be able to do yeah. it. The city of Detroit has welcomed it uh, for the last five years, mm -hmm. and it's just so important that we protect the legacy of the artists as well as the music. Yeah. And um, God has put me in that position, <laughs> and I plan to make that happen. I just thank, again, everybody that's uh, just been hands-on with, with, with the situation there yeah. and the support. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations to you thank all. You. And thank uh, we'll you. look forward to the weekend of oh, events. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you. We'll you. be back. Yeah. Thank you so much.